Hello and welcome to the channel. Today I shall endeavour to go for a walk with the dogs before it rains again and try to explain the current COVID restrictions we now have in place. With the recent weather and now, and now the COVID restrictions, I'm not getting out and about as much as I had hoped. But better to be safe than sorry as the last thing I need is to contract COVID. We are deemed to be in the dark red zone as we have the most stringent restrictions at the moment. But if these measures do not curb the spread of the virus, even more stringent may be introduced as more provinces are added to the dark red zone list every day. We have been told to avoid making unnecessary trips and are advised to stay at home if possible. We can venture out to purchase food and basic necessities or medicine and to attend a doctor's appointment, for example, and of course go to work. However, private and public se sectors are advised to work from home if possible. There is also a night time curfew from 9 p.m. to 4 a.m when we must stay at home. All convenience stores, supermarkets, shopping malls and restaurants have to close at 8 p.m. and restaurants, eateries, food stores and such can only provide takeaway meals. We are also to avoid gatherings of more than five people but of course large families living together are exempt. Any gatherings for special events like funerals etc require prior approval. Hotels and conference centres are prohibited from hosting events but hotels remain open their normal hours. Public transport can only carry 50% of their normal capacity and there are no inter-provincial buses running at the moment and most domestic airlines are now not flying. In fact, there is no interprovincial travel without a formal request and its approval before travelling and there are checkpoints in place at the provincial borders. Schools remain closed and some schools are now being made ready to be used as Covid field hospitals. School lessons are being conducted online wherever possible. As usual, people nationwide are asked to continue abiding by the health and safety measures in place, such as wearing a face mask at all times while outside of their residence, regularly washing hands with soap and water or cleaning alcohol, and avoiding unnecessary close contact with others. So overall it's back to the new normal and we all, all have been here before, haven't we? The relative authorities are doing whatever is necessary to distribute food and supplies to people in need to minimise any further hardships. and. The Thai people and communities are very good at doing this sort of thing, just as they do in times of flooding. Of course, none of this has affected the dogs, as they still expect me to walk out with them. 
Leo, the ginger one, if I'm allowed to say that, will not go out unless I go with him, unless he has other business on his mind. I have to say, none of the restrictions do really affect me, as I am happy to stay at home for now, and being away from people in crowds does not bother me, but I do know it can bother others not having the social contact. I am quite happy being alone, or just with my wife, as I can always find something to do. My wife is the one that goes out and about doing the shopping these days, which suits me just fine. I can always find some housework to do, if I am really looking for something, as I find vacuuming and mopping floors satisfying when it's finished. And after all said and done, it's very good exercise. Yeah, I know, I am a sad case. But, joking aside, this virus has caused a rise in suicide cases due to not being able to work and having money worries. And on that front, it may well get worse before it gets better. With all that said, it started raining, so I should finish this video now and get off home. So until the next video, stay safe, and it's bye-bye from me.